All right, how Americans define a middle class lifestyle and why they can't reach it. Woo! I did not see the part of why they can't reach it. This should be interesting. Again, this is by again. This is by Alyssa Fowers, Emily Guskin, and Scott Clement. It's February 15, 2024. It's not too far behind. All right, here we go. A poll from the Washington Post finds widespread agreement among Americans on what it means to be middle class. Interesting. We got agreements here, but just over a third of U.S. adults have the financial security to meet that definition, according to a post analysis of data from the Federal Reserve. My assumption is post meaning the Washington Post with that capital P. Regardless, let me not talk about that type of stuff out loud. Americans also underestimate the income required for that lifestyle. Here we go. Suggesting that the popular image of middle class security is more of an aspiration than a reality for most Americans. What do y'all think the number is as far as the income? range for that middle class like what what do y'all think these ranges are going to be how much are we going to get into the six figures you know 100k plus of how much people need to make i was this is um this was washington post and it probably has locations everywhere but if this was done in the you know washington post the dc area look that number is well over a quarter million dollars well over a quarter million um about nine to ten u.s adults said that six individual indicators of financial security and stability were necessary parts of being middle class in the post poll. Oops, excuse me. Smaller majorities thought other milestones such as home ownership and a job with paid sick leave were necessary. Sick leave is going away. I, I haven't had a job with sick leave since I worked at the credit union. I've always just had PTO. This is what I had. What it takes to be middle class. Which of the following do you think Americans need to be considered as part of the middle class? A secure job? I mean, income by definition, duh. Ability to save money for the future. Okay. Yeah, not not too much debt. Give me a second, y'all. Okay, ability to save money for the future. Ability to afford a 1000 expense without debt. That number should be... Yes, I mean, that that is a marker, but it, it should be more than $1,000 to be considered middle class. I mean, the middle class range, yeah... I mean, I've seen like so many different things, but yeah, I think it's, I mean, you got lower class, middle class, upper class, but the middle class range is like lower middle class, quote unquote, middle class, and then upper middle class, right? And then you got upper class, excuse me, that range in income is so wide. Then we do based off of a certain, you know, ge geographic locations, that income range could be well over a hundred thousand dollars from lower middle class to upper middle class. I mean, upper middle class, some places might be considered over half a million dollars, right? And lower middle class, you know, might not even be a hundred thousand dollars per se. You know what I mean? So it could be crazy when you see that type of stuff. Ability to pay bills on time without worry. Sure. Having health insurance, my goodness, and ability to retire comfortably. See, you won't know if you can retire comfortably until you actually get to retirement because in short, like for myself, I'm you know, just based off of age, retirement I mean you do fifty nine and a half. So let's say that. It's almost 30 years for me until I would be 59 and a half. And so who knows? I've, I've barely been alive for 30 years. <laughs> so who knows what the world is going to look like when I actually get to retirement age. But, you know, when you base off the projections that they say people should have, majority of people who have money in their retirement accounts, based off of what the numbers I've seen, is I've always said this, is roughly around a quarter million dollars. That's not enough to retire right now. So if people, you know, stay on that trajectory, even when you adjust for it, whatever inflation is going to be, it's not going to be damn near, damn, it's going to be no, damn, damn near, nowhere near enough, whatever I was to say that. Look, this is, this is probably one of the latest times I've recorded, it's almost at midnight. All right, having a job or pay sick leave, time and money for vacations, to own a home, ability to eat at a restaurant whenever you want, oh, that that is definitely getting closer to upper class, a college education. See, again, I, I, I'm hoping... See, I'm hoping if they can define what they said middle class was to, to these people. Middle classness and predictability are very tied in the American imagination, said Caitlin Zaloom, Zalam, Zaloom, an anthropology professor at New York University, NYU. Sometimes that is about security in the present, but it also means feeling secure about where life is going. I would say owning your home involves being, sec being secure. I would say even more than you know, being able to retire because it talks about being secure in the present. I mean, retirement by definition is a future goal for, for most people, you know, in general. Yeah. 
So we'll see. Use our income calculator. I wonder what they're, hold on. Look at me getting distracted. Is this a talk about adult ADD? Oh, then they're trying to make me subscribe. Nope. All right, here we go. Just over a third of Americans met all six markers of a middle class lifestyle, while about nine in 10 Americans had health insurance. Only three quarters had health insurance at a, and a steady job. I mean, 75% compared to 90%. I mean, it's 50% Delta. With each added measure of financial security, more Americans slipped away from the middle class ideal. Let me go ahead and see. Secure job, can save money for the future. That can handle thousand dollar emergency fund, pay bills on time, health insurance, can retire comfortably. Yeah, I mean, I guess, but I mean, I would say, I mean, I don't, I don't have sick leave. My job does not have sick leave. We literally have PTO. There's usually annual leave and then sick leave. Sick leave is usually there's no, um, there's no cap on, it and it's not use or lose when quote unquote talk about sick leave. Time for money and vacation. Time is subjective. Money is subjective. Vacation is a different every person. To own a home, this is still working on that, I guess. Right, eat a restaurant whenever you want. I guess college education. So I mean, it's like whatever. All right, here we go. Third of Americans match popular image of the middle class. All right, here we go. We're looking at American adults, one hundred percent with insurance. Okay, I see what it's doing. As we're going to up into the right to the northeast, we're getting lower numbers. Ninety-one percent have health insurance. And then how many, I got, okay, so how many people are American adults? 100%. How many of those American adults have health insurance? 91% and steady employment, so 75%. That can save for the future, 67. Pay bills without worry, 56. Afford emergency expenses, 45. And retire comfortably, 35%. So only 35% are meeting all six criteria. But see, my guy, this is how they're like tracking it, but I wonder what this looks like you know, in, in a different form as you ask these questions. 65% do not yet, by definition, duh. Researchers often define the middle class based on income, in part because income data is frequently collected and easy to access, true. But that income doesn't guarantee a middle class lifestyle. The budget, the budget, I mean, the budget and net worth, my goodness. One commonly used definition, okay, shout out to Pew Research Center, middle class income, according to Pew Research, between two thirds and twice the national median income or $67,819 to $203,458. As I said, over $100,000 difference. That's almost $170,000 right there. I don't, is it almost 170? 203 minus 67? My bad, 170, it's almost 140. There we go. It's 136. Told y'all it's over 100K and that's just for the whole country. Right, you look at you know more expensive cost of living places. Most Americans.